Hi everyone, thanks for liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing this video. This video will talk about organic chemistry topic pyrolysis of ester. Pyrolysis, pyro word is basically represents with the high temperature condition. Okay, you must have heard pyrometry. Okay, or pyrogenic substances and all those things. So pyrolysis is basically breaking down esters in high temperature scenario. So I'll just draw one ester in front of you. So let's say we have R CH two, CH two, oxygen. C double bond O R. So if you look at this thing, this is basically if you observe, is it an ester? First of all, yes, it is an ester. How do you know this? So we have R C double bond O CH two CH two R. Now there's some important things which you have to keep in mind before talking about these kind of esters which are being heated, and this temperature condition will be very very high around five hundred degrees Celsius temperature. And pyrolysis means they will break down in this kind of high temperature condition. Now, one important thing here is that this kind of thing take formation via six-member cyclic transition state, which we say six-member cyclic transition state, six MCTS we can call it. So, what is MCTS? Member M as in member, C as in cyclic. Cyclic means you form a ring, and TS as in transition state. So, this can be explained via six-member cyclic transition state. Now, how you will define what all those six members would be? So, I am giving you a very simple trick. You always from this C double bond O part. So, I just start number with one, two, three, four, and five. And remember, on fifth position, you just try to locate any hydrogen. So, we have hydrogen. Yes, we have. You can call it six. So, this is the right way to do that. Now, what happens here is this O grabs hydrogen. This becomes double bond. Okay, and in the process, what will happen? This will come up here. So, if you look at the whole scenario, what is happening is the structure. If I, if you understood the complete movement of the bonds, so we can say that whole structure will rearrange into R C H double bond C H two. This is O double bond C, single bond R, and this is single bond O grabbed hydrogen. So, what we get? We get an acid, and we get And alkene. So this reaction can be discussed in preparation of alkene also. Preparation of alkene also. So this is an example of pericyclic reaction. Pericyclic reaction. You know, pericyclic means where we are just uh, forming different kind of ring structures and then clubbing that. So Diels acceleration. You remember, four plus two cycloaddition is also example of pericyclic reaction. Let us see some more examples in this context. So if we come across a question where Examiner has given us a ring like this, okay, and they have put O C double bond O C H three. At this place, they are putting let's say hydrogen. So if you heat it, so again remember the rule. The rule says we have to first write one two three four five. So one two three four five, and that five position, just search for hydrogen. We got the hydrogen. Okay, now this bond we can draw it in little better way. We can say. Let's draw double bond O. Oh, sorry, CH three this side and double bond O this side, so that it will be easier for you also to understand what you are doing. So I'm just modifying it, just looking in such a way that this is closer. So we draw like this. This becomes double bond. This will break. So what is the answer that we expect? We expect a six-membered ring with a double bond at this place. Along with that, the other portion. Look at this other portion. This C is becoming O H. This is a CH three existing here, and there is a double bond O. So it's an acetic acid answer. See one more question in this way. So let's say you are given CH three C double bond O, then you have been given oxygen, then you are given let's say CH two CH two CH two CH two, okay, and then you are given again O C double bond O CH three. Now this is a little tricky question. Why? So see, I'll say this will why it is tricky question. You can see ester this side as well as this side. You will start writing numbers one, two, three, four. Five. Search for hydrogen. Yes, we got it. Start from your one, two, three, four, five. Search for hydrogen. Yes, we got it. So now you got the trick. The trick is when you heat this thing. Can you tell me what we can expect? We can expect that this will go grab this hydrogen, create a double bond. This will be free. This will grow, go that grab the hydrogen, create a double bond. This will be free. So in this special example, don't you think that this part is coming out as CH two double bond CH two? Even this part is also coming out as CH two double bond CH two, whereas this part is coming out as 
COH, CH3. I am not changing the bond position, so you can just visualize what is happening. I hope this makes sense. So look at the product. So you got this kind of answer. I hope that makes sense. There should be clarity in this discussion. Now I'll pick one more example here in which I'm taking a six membered ring like this. And on this ring, I'm putting groups like O, C double bond O, CH3. And similarly, O, C double bond O, CH3. And then again, the pyrolysis is given. So again, I'll say the same thing you please apply, which we learned so far. You start from this number one, two, three, four, five. Can we get a hydrogen? Yes. Okay, fine. Then start with this one, two, three, four, five. Can we get a hydrogen? Yes. So now you can say that this is going to grab this. In this process, what will happen? This will become a double bond. Similarly, this is going to grab it. In this process, what will happen? This will become a double bond and this is free. So what is the result? We should get a result where we have two double bonds like this. And see this elimination process is happening and we get alkene kind of structure along with CS3C double bond OH, how many units? Two units. So these kind of structures we can always discuss. I hope you understood all the examples of this pyrolysis of Festo. Keep liking, subscribing, sharing. Thank you very much.